Once upon a time, there was the Ford Ranger, the best-selling compact pickup from 1987 to 2004. One day, a master decided that, for wheels were too much. So now, there's only one wheel in the front, and the driver isn't looking at the road but at the sky, because there are just a few centimeters between the rear bumper and the asphalt. The name fittingly became Danger Ranger, and the whole project was a response to the drivers who had previously named the Ford Ranger, Rolling Death Traps. The reason was real due to faulty airbags, and Ford had to recall millions of cars, including the Ranger. I'd take it to the nearest auto shop and say it pulls a little upward, jokes one. But if you believe the master, three-wheeled cars are still excellent. Let's continue with an air cushion ship that took about six years and roughly 1,700 hours to build. The author has accumulated substantial material for those interested in replicating his feat. He generously provided a website selling plans for building such crafts, including small component kits like the Rotax 582 17 Mauritania Nugias mod DCDI engines and eight blade fans with necessary fasteners. By the way, the kit with the propeller comes with a hefty price tag of $8,240. So, undertaking a similar project will not only require hands, head, and skill but also a considerable budget. The master used PVC, fiberglass, and polyurethane, installed a GPS sensor, and crafted a skirt with 68 segments. Interesting fact about aluminum, it can be recycled indefinitely. For instance, to produce a bicycle, approximately 700 aluminum cans are sufficient. However, in many countries, tens of thousands of tons of these cans are discarded annually. If you've accumulated cans and have nowhere to take them, it's entirely possible to replicate such a solar air collector. The structure, measuring 2.5 by 1.2 meters, consists of 28 cans. The author revisited the collector two years later, noting that the only aspect worthy of improvement was the protection of the casing from water and snow. Now, here's a simple yet handy DIY project, a masonry tool that makes working with mortar precise and neat, saving both time and materials. The master behind this creation skillfully put together all the details in just a couple of minutes, even leaving room for a quick demonstration. What are your thoughts? Doesn't it feel like the right time to consider production, even if it's just a small series? Imagine the practical impact this tool could have for those engaged in masonry work, streamlining the process and enhancing precision. It's a DIY gym ready to make a mark. The Honda GX35 engine is valued for its compactness and ease of operation in any position. You can tilt it, flip it, rotate it 360 degrees, it doesn't matter where you place it. In this case, the engine found its way into a radio-controlled airplane, as demonstrated in the video. The base engine has a power of 1.3 horsepower, weighing approximately 3.3 kilograms. The creator of the video made some modifications, reducing the final parameters of the plane to a weight of 7.5 kilograms and a wingspan of 2.4 meters. It performs excellently in the air, and the creator mentioned in the comments that everything has been going well for at least a year. Surprisingly, the engine's power allows it to be installed on a more sporty aircraft, and the fuel consumption is mentioned as more than an hour of flight per liter of gasoline. A clever solution for making a table clamp for tabletops, as described by this skilled individual. Surprisingly, this seemingly simple solution has gained widespread approval from viewers. Several queues have formed, one ready to order the DIY creation and another suggesting improvements. For instance, some recommend placing the support parts not strictly vertically, but with a tilt towards the inner side. One can certainly agree with them. 
This is indeed a practical do-it-yourself guide that doesn't require expensive tools like a grinder or lathe. However, in the free time between working with logs, tables, and wind generators, one can also have some fun. The recipe involves a simple car wheel, a frame resembling Frankenstein's monster, an engine with approximately 7 horsepower, and a desire to experiment. The resulting two-wheeled marvel is suitable for a trip to the store, burning some rubber, and gaining views online. As tradition dictates, potential buyers have already appeared, but the master has yet to respond possibly being too engrossed in writing. In 2022, residents of many countries were surprised by the high prices of firewood. For example, in Bulgaria, a cubic meter was being sold for $110 to $130. As a result, both large suppliers and individuals actively utilize such log holders. These holders not only allow for safer work, but also increase efficiency. Serial options, weighing around 150 to 300 kilograms, enable the handling of logs up to 4.6 meters long. A special chain prevents the logs from rotating. However, if one doesn't have approximately $125 in their wallet, they can quickly assemble a DIY version that is inexpensive but very useful, according to the author who casually demonstrates a full load of firewood. During the restrictions associated with the pandemic, Steve Jones, a former engineer of the Royal Air Force in the United Kingdom, built his dream trailer. It turns out he had been wanting to use an aircraft engine gondola for this purpose since 2013. In 2019, he finally purchased one at an auction, converting part of a decommissioned Vickers VC-10 airliner into a 4-meter-long trailer with all the amenities for four people. Jones managed to include foldable beds, a stove, a sink, doors, and even a dining area in the trailer. The end result landed him a spot on a TV show, showcasing his unique creation. How to Build a Vertical Wind Generator the answer to this question is now on screens. The master also shared links to the components and mentioned that he had previously added a classic 150W wind generator variant to his arsenal, effective at a wind speed of 7 meters per second. Unfortunately, the new vertical model didn't reach even a quarter of that figure. However, users didn't lose hope and found numerous upgrade options, from altering the geometry to adjusting the size and quantity of the blades. The sunset view from the rooftop was quite captivating, making the experiment not only practically beneficial but also aesthetically pleasing. 